here, will it help us not push down? No. Looks like it's moving down. Hey guys, welcome back to the outpost. Um, we decided what we were going to do today was uh, finish the batten on the compost toilet. So yeah, this is kind of turning out really nice using this slab wood as the battens. Um, it's kind of overkill, but so is the Hobbit house. It's kind of overkill as an outdoor toilet. Um, but we think it's cute, so yeah. overkill's cool. You know, I was thinking that um, the very first time that it's used that Jennifer should dress up like in a little hobbit uniform or a little troll or a little fairy kind of uniform and um, be the first one to um, put some action to it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I don't know that we'll go that far, but anyway. Hey, do you know why the green pepper couldn't practice archery? Do you? Because he didn't habanero. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Love Maybe it. you can whittle him one. <laughs> he didn't habanero. Um, okay, so what I've got to do is I've got to determine, since this is crooked, I've got to determine a straight line down the middle, and then from that line there, I will uh, start my corner and also level off my bottom because none of this is level. So anyway, that's what we're fixing to do. We'll see you shortly. Okay, this is a piece of lumber. It does not have a square end, doesn't have a square side. So there's nothing that you can do to make a mark. You can't use your square on it or anything. So what you would do, is just kind of eyeball up to there where the center of the board would be gives you a starting point, okay? And Basically, draw yourself a line, just like that. Now that gives you something that you can use to be square at, like this, and draw yourself a line here. Then you can either flip it over or you can use that line that you just made, providing it's long enough, okay? And then we're going to measure, it was 47 and a half, so I'm going to take an inch off right there. And then you're going up 48 and a half? Make this 48 and a half. Put a mark there, the other side. 48 and a half. And then I'm going to take this run across those two lines make a mark like that so now I've got it square on each end if you make because this end measures the same as this end it'll be square at top square at the bottom and I've also got um, I've got to take off this little bit of an edge here where I've already marked that. So let's crank this up and get rid of that. I'll get it.
try and get it. Hold that top in there, would you? your fingers. Okay. finished button them wrong up. There's a hammer hammer if you want it. She actually brought me a couple of hamburgers. 
and I appreciate that. That's going to be good. So we're going to eat us a little bit of bite, or eat us a little bite, and then we'll get back down there to work on the compost toilet. There you go. Oh, did you hear about that restaurant on the moon? It was good, but it had no atmosphere. <laughs> We decided we'd take another little break. I am drenched with, uh, covered with sawdust. She had to take the broom and broom me, broom me off. Yeah, Jennifer, she wanted to say goodbye because she's got to go get prepared for school tomorrow. Uh, she's got to give a speech to all the teachers and tell them um, what's going to happen or transpire for the next year um, health-wise and medically-wise as far as the kids go in school. So I said, well, let's just go up there and get us a drink and sit down for just a second then because even though it's September, um, it's still humid in East Tennessee. Horribly. Yeah. Anyway, is Landon going to school this year? He starts Monday, or Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday. But he'll go back with me tomorrow and endure the, the three uh, teacher days. <laughs> he'll have fun. Um, guys, I'm going to be a little bit emotional, try not to be, um, I've had the time of my life learning from my dad, 
and I really hate that it's came to an end. Um, it's not an end, it's just that I won't be out here every single day that he's off, and that really bugs me. <laughs> it just really bugs me. Um, but, you know, a lot of people aren't thankful for COVID, but I am because it's given me the memories that I've been able to make with him. So, um, I've learned a heck of a lot. I'll go into detail about those some other time. Um, but thank you for loving us and especially loving my dad and what he does. Um, I will be checking in at least once a week, maybe twice if he'll let me send him a little video and he can add it in. Um, <laughs> if you want to you want to hear some of her jokes um, being taped from the school, leave a comment. <laughs> if you want me to splice it into the videos on Monday and Wednesday, well, let's see. It just depends on how much we can get done on the weekend when she comes out here as to how many videos that's going to make. But anyway, leave us some comments if you want to see them <laughs> spliced into the videos. Did I just make you tear up? You'll have to wear... No, I have sawdust in my eyes. You'll Dang, y'all. You'll have to wear uh, a hat so that it will resemble you at least being up. You'll have to go outside and stand by a tree to be I'll have to do something. <laughs> I promise you, we will get creative. Um, I do have one more joke before I go. What kind of dog does Dracula have? A bloodhound. A bloodhound. Yes, he sure does. <laughs> He sure does. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to... I got me a drink, and I'm going to go back down there and get my tools so that she can get home. And uh, I'll probably put up the last one that's on the front corner up there um, beside the doorway so that uh, all of that batten will actually be on except up underneath the eave going across the top. I'll probably start working on that tomorrow. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, go down there and she's going to get ready and leave. So, um, let me say one more thing. Sorry if I've been half solemn today. I'm just a sappy baby. <laughs> if you've been what? Solemn and just not my usual laughy self. I've been sad. I cried my eyes out last night. Anyway, you all know that I'm a daddy's girl and it breaks my heart. So, anyway, I've got to go home because I have to write a huge presentation for my peeps at school. So, all right, you guys stay tuned. See ya. Well, there's some holes and some gaps that I'll have to fill up, but it didn't actually turn out too bad. The only thing that I've got left to do is um, this right up here, but I'm going to have to put this door frame in here first, so that'll probably, we'll probably work on that tomorrow and see if I can't haul the logs up here that I had got cut so I can continue to mill siding for the cabin. So, yeah. Turning out really great. <laughs>